Ark Survival Ascended has just released and there has been some big changes to the map and game mechanics. So I thought I would cover the best new base locations on Ark Survival Ascended, the island. This video covers locations for big tribes as well as small tribes including some sneaky new rat holes. The changes for some caves have been huge and some have been very minor, but we need to remember at this stage we don't have cryopods unlocked, so this needs to be considered when choosing our top 10 base locations for Ark Survival Ascended. So. Number one, in no particular order, we have 1010 Iceberg. Now this is a classic base spot, now located at latitude 3.7 and 5.6. Huge iceberg with no ground access. Quite a large flat area to build a nice flat base on. At the moment, it's going to be hard for people to raid pillar bases like this because you're going to have to build up or you're going to have to get a Quetzal or a Rhino Ganathia to raid a base spot like this. So it's going to be great to be able to build bases outside again. The only thing you'll need to consider here is that people might snipe your team, so you'll have to keep them pretty protected until we have cryopods. But overall, this is a great spot to set up base, and it's a very large area to grow for medium and large tribes. Next up, we have another classic spot from Legacy Ark, and that is Kano Cave. Now, this spot is very strong, but it also has a very big weakness right now. Stay to the end of this to find out what that is. Located at 8.6 and 91.5, this cave is one of the most defendable caves and one of the largest caves internally. The entry point can't be raided by a stego. Inside this cave has a water pool that you have to swim through to get to the main area. And now with it possible to place turrets upside down and on walls, this makes this cave even stronger than before. Because down in the water hole you can put turrets everywhere. And the normal generators work like tech generators with a big radius and no need for cables. So you can spam turrets literally everywhere. It's going to make it very difficult to raid, but at the moment, the only problem with this spot is it can easily be meshed. So just be aware of that if you guys are living in this spot right now, make sure to spam all around the base location. But inside here is huge and you can set up all your breeders and all your tames. This is a big alpha spot. If you can claim it early, it's not hard to hold it with a smaller tribe or a medium tribe either. So this is a very good base location if you can claim it, but it will be highly contested. and. A bit impractical until cryopods are in action because you're not really going to be able to get your soakers and tames out of here if you want to raid other bases, but it will be strong to defend and maybe you'll have an external base near the front or a teleporter when you unlock teleporters. So that will be a requirement for this base location. Hopefully this mesh method will be patched before you build. We'll do this one, one last one. But basically, just be careful in caves, I would say chat. Make sure you spam. Do lots of spam. Oh, oh yeah, we got in. I got in, I got in. Next up, we have the new Pride Rock Rat Holes. And these are some of my favorite new locations. Located around 5675. I call this Pride Rock because it looks like the Pride Rock from the Lion King. And underneath it now, there are lots of little cracks and crevices for rats to build in. And this is amazing. As you guys know, these are some of my favorite spots to build in. So if you're a small tribe, a medium tribe, or getting up a starter base, this spot could be for you. So... If you fly around this general area and look underneath Pride Rock, you'll find these cracks and crevices. And with how you can place turrets now upside down, it's not hard to defend spots like this. So, really good spot if you want to stay low key. Obviously not too much space to build, but if you're doing a solo playthrough, it could be a place to consider to stay low key and out of the way. Because you can fit an Arjun in some of these places, so they are still practical, but not as practical as they will be once cryopods are unlocked but still this was some of my favorite new additions and i'm glad we've got some new sort of base locations because it adds some more variety to the game and makes the map feel fresh especially this spot here i found this actually has a little bit of room so even for a small tribe living that rat life this could be for you next up we have pack cave another classic spot and very strong now on the new servers at 71 57 Pack Cave is great, you can't fit a stego through the entry point, so you're going to be safe until cryopods come out basically, because there's no way someone's going to run your base with the new turret placements. This is a great spot for defense, again, a bit impractical if you're wanting to be aggressive and raid others, because you're going to struggle to get your teams out of the base until you get teleporters. So do consider that with these spots, they will require teleporters for a lot of these caves to be practical. But with the new small teleporters, you can actually fit small teleporters in all of these locations and they can teleport big teams. So 
there is possibility to do the teleporters quite easily. This cave location has some big hallways at the beginning, which now you can defend very well with the new turret placements. And then as you progress, this cave opens up and gives you a lot of space to breed. So it's good for medium and large tribes. And again, even a small tribe, if you claim this early on, you can hold this very easily now with the new changes. Next up at number five, we have Ice Cave. Now this base location has been drastically changed. There's no longer a crouch spot at 27, 29. The Ice Cave used to be one of the strongest spots and it's still pretty strong though because a Stego can't walk into it. So any base spot where a Stego can't get to at the moment without Cryopods is a good base location. With the new turret placements, these high ceilings in this first entry room still make this a hard to raid spot. The amount of space you get inside Ice Cave is huge. So it's a really good base location, not to mention the drops you get on hand as well. This spot's still strong, but no longer has the crouch spot. So just be aware of that. If you're a medium or a large tribe, this is a great spot with plenty of room. Next up, we have the Pearl Caves. Now there are many different size pearl caves, small and large. So these are the coordinates. Bear in mind, that's the old coordinates. Use r.fog0 to look for these spots as it clears up the water. This pearl cave we're looking at is at 3.9 and 38. And this is a small pearl cave. Now these spots are great for defense because at the moment it's very hard for people to get down to raid you. They can do it with Basilosaurus in some of these. And if they do oxygen stego, they might be able to swim it down, but it'll be very difficult. So a little bit of room in this small pearl cave. The other sizes are much better. This is the medium pearl cave at 3.217. The latitude is slightly different to the map I showed at the start. So go to the general coordinates of the map and you'll find these caves about six latitude off. So this is the medium cave. You can build on top of these pillars out of the ground. So they're slightly different, but still really strong spots. Again, not as practical until you've got a teleporter or some cryopods though, just keep that in mind. Next up, we have Clever Cave. I put this on the list because this wasn't used much in the past on Ark Survival Evolved, but now you can't fit a Stego down the entry point. So currently this is a great spot to build because you're very defended and you can place turrets again upside down and all around. And with the turret placement and generator placement, these caves just become so strong. So we can't really skip a cave on this list because they are the strongest spots to build. But again, I wanted to keep some external ones because you do need teleporters to make these more practical. But in the long term, these will be the strongest spots. So with that in mind, this cave has a fair bit of room and a high ceiling to place your turrets upside down on the roof. So it makes it very strong. And inside further on, there is quite a bit of room for a medium to small tribe. Not quite as big inside as some of the other caves, but still plenty of space. And now we come to some of the big alpha spots like easy underwater cave. If you want to live underwater with a lot of room at 51, 2.7, this is where you want to come. These caves are super strong, but they will be claimed by the alpha tribes. And you do need to have a lot of people to defend this because there's big, huge caverns to get inside this cave, especially. So just make sure you keep that in mind with the new turret placement. These spots become even stronger and more defensible currently tech vacuums don't even need a generator to run so i don't know if that will change but it's pretty strong at the moment and makes these spots even stronger so really strong and plenty of room to breed and build in the easy underwater cave and next up we have the lava cave again another cave that was built in a lot Early days of Ark, but hasn't been utilized for years. You can't walk a Stego into the entry point of this cave. Once more, this cave becomes very strong. Again, turrets upside down on the ceiling, and people are going to struggle to get in here. Do be aware, though, the ceiling is a lot lower in here, so splash and things like that. A lot more of an issue in this early parts of the cave. But later on, further down the cave, it opens up a lot more, so it'll make it a lot harder for people to run if they try to end with the movement speed nerfs even more so. There's actually a ton of space in here, so if you're a big tribe and a medium tribe, this is a great spot to build on Ark Survival Ascended.
Next up, we have Single Pillar, which was previously known as Twin Pillars, but one of the pillars is gone now. The spot looks a little bit different at 2971, but it's still really strong, being close to metal nodes and close to all valuable resources. This is a great spot to build, especially early game on Ark Survival Ascended the Island. And if you want to get out of the caves, because honestly, the best thing about this new expansion is the ability to build outside again, at least for a moment. So take advantage of it while we can. Currently, Shockers is built on here, so you know it's a great spot, at least early game. So check this spot out. It's really good for small tribes. Obviously, not so great for bigger tribes, though. So, obviously, I wanted to cover a variety of spots, not just caves. So, honorable mentions, we've got Hard Underwater, Lower South Cave, and Small Snow Cave. I'll just draw up the coordinates for these caves for you guys, so you've got all the cave locations covered, at least from one video. But, with the release of Ark Survival Ascended, the island, I would recommend getting outside as much as you can before cave meta becomes a big thing again. Because we can enjoy it while we can, and enjoy some old school Ark, like the good old days. But this is the top 10 base locations for Ark Survival Ascended, the island. If you guys want to see more Ark Survival Ascended, I cover gameplay tips and playthroughs on PvP, and I've been live streaming on YouTube and Twitch, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the streams. You guys are legends, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.